all animals. United shoves dog in overhead bin, and it ends badly for the pooch. United knows how to treat its customers. A dog passed away on a United Airlines flight from H-Town to the Big Apple on Monday after a flight attendant ordered the animal to be shoved into an overhead bin. Witnesses said the woman's dog carrier was sticking into the aisle, so a kind, thoughtful United flight attendant told her to stow the carrier and her pooch in the overhead compartment. During the flight, other passengers said they heard the dog barking. Unfortunately, after arriving in New York, it was no longer barking because it died. The dog's owner responded by collapsing to the ground in the aisle and bawling her eyes out. United apologized on Tuesday and said it's paying for the dog's necropsy and is refunding the tickets. Aw, how sweet. It also noted that pets should never be put into the overhead storage compartment. Well, almost never. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Bird in cockpit forces Delta flight to turn around. A Hotlanta-bound Delta flight was forced to hang a Yui after the crew found a bird flying around the cockpit. Before the flight, the pilot happened to see a sparrow board the plane, causing the flight to be delayed as crew and maintenance workers searched for the little feathered fellow. After a delay and an unsuccessful search attempt, the pilot decided to take off. Wouldn't you know it, shortly after the aircraft took off, the sparrow reappeared again in the cockpit, so the pilot decided to turn the plane back around. After getting back to Detroit Metro Airport, crews were finally able to grab the little guy and get him off the plane. In the end, after a considerable delay, the flight eventually made its way down to Atlanta. No word on what airline the Sparrow ended up taking. Son of Concorde plane prepares to go supersonic. U.S. aircraft maker Arion has launched a joint engine study with GE Aviation for a supersonic jet that aims to cut flight times between London and New York to just over four hours. The Arion AS-2 plane has a relatively short wingspan and a long fuselage, similar to the design of supersonic fighter jets. The plane's thin wings vastly reduce friction drag when compared to traditional aircraft wings. The AS-2 can reach speeds of Mach 1.5, which is one and a half times the speed of sound. The supersonic speed means the AS-2 could travel from London to New York in just four hours and 24 minutes. Private jet company FlexJet made the first purchase of the AS-2 when it ordered 20 of the aircraft in 2015. Arion hopes to launch the AS-2 next year with its first flight scheduled for 2023. The only way to fly. If you feel like showing everyone how annoyingly rich you are, Emirates has new Mercedes-Benz S-Class inspired first class private suites for its Boeing 777 aircraft. The new suites will offer up to 40 square feet of space per passenger and floor to ceiling sliding doors. <laughs> And because they really need it, passengers will get a 32-inch HD TV, gourmet dining, mood lighting, and temperature control. The leather seats can recline all the way, be placed in a zero-gravity position, or adjusted into plenty of other custom positions for optimal comfort. Most suites with a window view will be provided with binoculars, while suites in the middle of the cabin have virtual windows, which project the view from the outside in real time. Emirates will also offer passengers a complimentary Benz chauffeur to their destination from the airport. The newly designed cabins are set to be introduced into Emirates fleet in December. Spirit Airlines plane spews parts after Detroit takeoff. The FAA is looking into why a Spirit Airlines plane was spewing parts after a Detroit airport takeoff on Monday night. The Spirit flight from D-Town to Hotlanta was forced to return to Detroit Metro Airport after experiencing engine failure. The plane was able to land safely without incident, but unfortunately dumped a bunch of engine pieces into the yards of Detroit residents. The FAA sent investigators to look into what went wrong and to examine the recovered engine parts. The investigation should be concluded in the coming weeks. According to one passenger on the flight, the plane was at about 5,000 feet when there was a large bang that caused the aircraft to shake and shudder. The passenger said the right engine was on fire, sparking and losing pieces. And here we thought it was just Spirit trying to save money by getting rid of plane engines. 